Hello and welcome to Let's Play Golden Axe on the Sega Mega Drive. Um, I'm going to split this playthrough up into three videos. The first video, which is this one, will have the game completed as Axe Battler, who is known as Tarek on the Master System version. The next video will have the game completed as Tyrus Flare. And the final video will have the game completed as Gilius Thunderhead. Okay, this game is actually harder than the Master System version. Um, in this version, every enemy will charge you, or try to charge you except for Death Adder and the Knights, I think. Um, in the Master Sudden version, only those Sledgehammer... Um, sledgehammer men there will uh, attempt to charge you, so it's a bit easier. Um, um, in this game, there's also an extra final level that wasn't in the Master Sudden version. Uh, that's actually quite hard, actually, uh, not least because of the platforming. Um, Axe Battler the Barbarian. His mother was killed by Death Adder. Um, in this game, we don't get to choose our magic. Um, we only get to choose our character. Um, and, and the particular character always has the same, always uses the same magic. So Axe Battler will always use the Earth magic. Tyrus Flare will always use the Fire magic. And Gideon Thunderhead will always use the uh, the Thunder magic. Um, also, in this game, in the manual for the for, uh, for the Mega Drive version, that is, uh, which is this game, uh, the creatures are actually called Bizarians. Uh, Tyrus Flare, the Amazon, her father and mother were killed by Death Adder. Yeah, um, yeah. In the, in the manual for this game, the creatures are actually called Bizarians. I was wrong in my Masterton playthrough where I said. Uh, uh, where I called them Bizarrans in the Master System version. They're not called Bizarrans in the Master System manual, they're actually just called Strange Creatures. So I was a bit wrong there, but they're effectively the same thing. They're only called Bizarrans in the Mega Drive manual. Anyway, so with that explained, let's play the game. Um, this isn't going to be a perfect run through. I can't do it without losing a life, I'm afraid. I, well, if, if I did, it would be the first time. Uh, Gilius Thunderhead, the dwarf, his brother was killed by Death Adder. Okay, then back to the title screen. Okay, so have a look at the options, you can change your life amounts. Uh, this is effectively hard mode, then normal mode, then easy mode if you like, but this, that's not really official. Um, we can actually use the A button to use magic instead of both buttons 1 and 2 like on the Master version, that's quite nice. The Mega, Drive has, the Mega Drive pad has one more button. Sound test as well if you want it, but don't. You can, you can change your controls as well. A beginner, I can't remember what that is, but I think it's like easy mode where you don't have to do as many levels or something and it's a bit easier. Uh, the jewel, that, uh, I'll, I think I'll do that after I do, um, after, after I complete the game as Gilius Thunderhead. Anyway, let's, let's play the game. Uh, it just went to the demo as I was about, went to the demo as I was about to press it. So let's do it again and then press OK. Here we go. OK, choose Axe Battler like promised and here we go. Okay, let's have a read of this. Uh, Death Adder invaded the castle and has taken the king and princess prisoners. Don't press it, otherwise you'll skip it. My good friend Alex was also killed in the battle. To defeat them is a must and... Bringing peace to the land is my duty. Okay, brilliant. Okay, yeah, so the enemies, in the Muslim version, the enemies were all pretty much the same, you know, if uh, this type of enemy was the same in this level as it was in the last level. In this game, the enemies are different colours, so this enemy, even though it looks the same in the final level, um, he is actually, well, they'll actually be a bit more powerful, because they'll be a um, different colour, and they'll need more hits to die. There's also an extra move in this game, you can do that. That's by pressing the the B and uh, uh, the B and C buttons together. Uh, you can sort of look away from the enemy and then press both buttons and time it right, and then you do that. It's quite powerful actually. Oops. There's also the other attacks like before the jumping attack and the shoulder barge and everything. Um, Axe Battle does the the shoulder barge just like uh, um, his alter ego Tarek did on the Master Sudden version. Uh, Tyrus Flare will do a a jump kick and Gideon Thunderhead will sort of do a head charge thing with his horned helmet. I don't know why Gideon Thunderhead has a white beard. I mean, he's really agile, like a young man. But he's sort of like has a has a white beard, like Father Christmas or Santa Claus or whatever. A little bit weird. Anyway, um, yeah. So the Bizarians are only called Bizarians in the Mega Drive manual. But yeah, everything will try to charge you now. It's really annoying. You have to keep sort of a avoiding things, well, um, avoiding the lines of the enemies, because if they're in your line and they're far away enough, they will try to charge you every single time. It's really irritating. 
There we go, he's toast. Um, like on the Master Inversion, go the top way first because there's a there's, there's a magic dwarf to get up here that you won't be able to get otherwise because you can't jump up the platform um, from this. You, you can't jump up there, you can only um, go down. Yes, come on. Should be able to get maximum magic here. Yep, there we go, good. Yep, just get that magic thing. Yeah, so you can't jump up there, so you want to go the top way the first time. And just wait to kill this enemy first. There you go, he'll try to charge you. Every single time uh, you're in the line of sight of an enemy, they will try to charge you. Except for the Knights and uh, Death Adder, I think. The only ones who did it on the Master version were the Sledgehammer Men. Okay. Um, we want to use all our, all our magic here because um, there's a bit in between levels when you're getting the magic dwarves on the Marston version. That's just the same as here in this game, um, except that uh, your character will, uh, will sort of leave a couple of pots beside himself and uh, the dwarves will come along and take them before you have a chance to um, get up. But that happens unless you use them all up. So you'll still be able to get them all back and get more, but it just makes it a bit more annoying. So my advice is just to use all the magic up. There we go. Yeah, otherwise you'll be sleeping there with two pots by you, and then the dwarf will come and take them, and then you have to, and you won't be able to get up until they've taken them. Anyway, our sworn enemy Death Adder is in his castle. We'll take a shortcut through the Turtle Village. Yeah, so use all your magic up before the end of the level is my advice. Okay, here's the Turtle Village. Try to... There we go. Yeah, uh, I've tried to do that up, uh, like before. Well, on the Mastodon version you have to sort of knock them in, but here they can just sort of run because they try to charge you. A bit further. There we go. Let's do that. No, it missed him. No, it missed him. Don't you dare. Making a pig zero of this, aren't I? Oh. Yes, yes. Right. I'm going to do that thing. There we go. That's what I was after. Good. And then we get some little children who go past. And it always makes me funny because the little girl's bosom seems to, <laughs> seem to shake from side to side. You have to appreciate the little things in life, I think. And that, uh, and that is quite funny. Right. Don't you dare. Die. Yeah, the Bizarrean flame in this one is, um, is orange, not blue. In the Master version, it was blue, if you remember, for some reason. Although it did make it look more magical, so I think I actually prefer uh, the, f uh, the, uh, the flame being blue. Yeah, getting the Bizarrians, I mean, the Magic Dwarfs with the Bizarrians is awkward on this. Even more awkward than it uh, was on the Master version. Don't get the laughing enemies until you take care of this, because then it will activate them. Get him first, and you only have one enemy to contend with. There we go. Likewise with this, just take them on one at a time if you can. Leave them laughing for as long as possible. Now the joke's on them, because it just makes them easier to kill. There we go. Right, use your magic up now. Now that Bizarrean is actually the one that uh, shoots a single flame. Um, it isn't very good, so I'll try to avoid it. That's a skeleton dead. Yeah, he will shoot a single flame like uh, like on the Master version, but you can get on it if you want. The only way to get off a of Bizarrean is like on the Master version is is to get hit. So, and also you don't get to use it very long anyway. But yeah, use your magic up like before because otherwise you'll have a couple of pots there, which is annoying. Get the health, good, lovely. Maximum health again. A bit more magic. Yep, good. I like how he kicks them, it's quite funny. Burn. No, it doesn't do any damage. Yeah, so I might lose some lives or continue or something, I don't know. I'll try not to. The village was on the back of a giant turtle. The turtle takes us south across the sea. Okay, yeah, on the Master Diversion, we actually started this level a bit further back, but here we actually start here in this game. He can die good. He should have fallen in the hole. He's gone in his hole. No. There we go. Good, uh, that went better than the normal. Oh, oh, oh good, that, that was trapped there. But uh, inevitably I get hit. There we go, and die. 
Die again and die. Good. And he's off. Good. Uh, where am I? But no, I uh, um, I actually managed to glitch into the into the water there. Brilliant. So that wasn't my fault. So I've lost a life and the Bizarrean from glitching into the water. There's nothing I can do about it. On the plus side, though, it does it does make getting the magic here a bit easier because getting the magic here on that Bizarrean is a bit awkward. But yeah, I sort of glitched, um, I sort of disappeared off the screen because I sort of the screen was moving down as I jumped, I think, and then and then I reactivated. Of course, the only place I could possibly reappear was over the water. It wouldn't let me reappear over the land because that means I wouldn't have to glitch and lose a life. So I had to lose a life, of course. If I have to glitch anywhere, of course, it means I have to glitch into the water and die. So yeah, so that wasn't my fault. So I am not apologising for anything. Right. Oh, how can they shoulder barge me for heaven's sake? They're, they're skinny. I mean, look at the size of this bloke. He's about 250 pounds. How could you possibly? How could they possibly shoulder barge him when they're only about 120 pounds each in weight? It's ridiculous. Basic laws of physics don't apply in this game. Pretty annoying. I don't have the design for these men, though. But I will use the um, the the magic because I'm about to get some more anyway. What does that say? It says Deb. Someone named Deb lives there. It's short for Deborah. Debbie or something. Right. Yes. Oh, I didn't think you were that far away. Time to die. Go away. Right. Oh no, he's still alive. Let's do a... No, missed it. Let's do a, a thing. And I Right, just a nice little gate there. Right, okay, more magic good. I know these little kids' bosoms are shaking. <laughs> oh dear. That is quite... I mean, why have they programmed that in? Just imagine, like, the designs of the game. Thinking, right, have little kids run away. Make sure their bosoms are shaking. We must program that in. That, uh, uh, must program that animation in. If, if we do nothing else in this game, don't make sure uh, don't make sure to get rid of the glitch that makes me uh, lose a life in the water from earlier. Make sure you program the bosoms on the kids shaking. That's the most important thing. Right. Yes, come on. No. Yep. Unbelievable. No, did a thing. Yeah, jump. Okay. Uh, to quote Clint Eastwood on Heartbreak Ridge, with all due respect, you're beginning to annoy me. If you've seen that film, it's quite good. Has uh, what's his name in it? Um, no, I can't remember his name. He, he was on Twin Peaks and People Under the Stairs. He he was Big Ed in uh, uh, Twin Peaks. He's in there, and he was in License to Kill as D, as a DEA agent. I don't want to lose a life here because then I could get my health back at the end of the level. I don't want to use the magic up until the knights come, because the knights are sort of awkward. Good, he's dead. Right. And die, there's a good there's a good boy. Right, oh no, he's still alive. I said die, there's a good boy. Thank you, that's better. Right, now let's use the magic up, since we're about to end the level anyway. Um, this knight might be a bit awkward. Oh, good, that's close. Let's see if I can't get him like this. Come on. Nope. Yeah. Unbelievable. Means I won't be able to get my health back. You are annoying, aren't you? I still blame the game for making me lose that life. Stop whacking me. Well, I mean, if you have a sword and a shield, why would you use your shield as a weapon when you have a big chunky sword? Like the chunky sword on the, uh, the, the big boss in there. Uh... uh um, what Rastan level 4 had. He had a chunky sword. If you're going to have a chunky sword, use your chunky sword. What's the point of having a chunky sword? Now go away. Go away. Yeah, they always try to keep their distance with you. I'll see if I can get him right normally. Good. He whacks on the head, which wouldn't make any difference because he's wearing body armour. Or, or a suit of armour, I should say. At least they don't charge you. I 
I can understand the use of plate mail, you know, like uh, this sort of armour, but what's the point of... What's, that's not what you call plate mail, is it? No, uh, um, um, it's plate armour, sorry. Yeah, what's the, uh, what's the point of chain mail? You know, you, know, uh, you know, that stuff that's made out of little... little chain links. What's the point of that? Because an arrow could easily penetrate that. I suppose a sword can dispose of to answer my own question. Anyway, you're annoying me now. Go away, good he's dead. It's really heavy, though, armour. I mean... You'd be sweating and out of breath just walking, and the horse wouldn't be that much better either. Right, let's get our health back, that's a priority. Get this one as well, because, uh, you yeah, know, because uh, uh, there could be more health gone that I can't see. And some magic, good, that went well. Alright, so I've lost two lives. Um, well, they're really one, because I glitched one, didn't I? Uh, we have gone in close vicinity of the castle, but the way is packed by enemy lines. We must. We must dare the fiend's path to reach the castle. There must be a translation error here. We must dare the fiend's path. Oh no, it's the one with the skeletons. Yeah, I'm going to lose some lives here. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about this. Lives are going to be lost quite painfully. And how? Ow, how did that get me? No way. Oh, I'm crowding me. Come on. There we go. Your turn. Good. Your turn. No, missed him. Your turn. Good. Die. Oh no. Good. No, yes. Good. He's dead. And you're dead. And you're... Yes, you can't reach. Go away with the spike club. Good. Right, that's that done. Right, try to get the first skeleton in the water, of course. Right, right before. In the master of the version. I think you can do this in the master of the version anyway. There we go. And he's in. Lovely jubbly. I think that's the only one we can do that on. Yeah, another one here. Good. No, missed him. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, I could even do the head back, uh, uh, the head bash thing. That costs more health. Oh good, just needs two of them, then they're dead. Good. Oh no, another one. Good. Wonderful, just two hits and they're gone. They seem to be easier than the ones in the Master of Inversion, though. The Master of Inversion would have need more hits than that, but, but I suppose that uh, that particular attack isn't on the Master of Inversion, so there's no proper way to compare unless I did the similar attack that I could do on the Master of Inversion. It, oh, get out of it. Alright, let's, let's do some of these attacks. There we go, lovely. And you, no, you missed him. Good. Ow, how did he get me? Nope, missed him. Good. And you. There we go. Oh no, he's still alive. And he's dead. Good. Okay, let's use the magic up. I might as well use it on this skeleton. Um, yeah, I might as well use it now. I could save it for the next skeletons, but there's no point. Yeah, but we won't kill them first time, so we won't kill this, we won't kill this one first time, so we won't kill them first time. Go away. Good. No, he's still alive. Said, go away. You can die as well. Wonderful. Good. Right. No, I missed him. Ah, oh, I wasn't even there. Oh no, he did that attack where he bashes his skull in. And... Now I've lost a continue. Yep. Right, I tried, but I did lose a life uh, from a glitch. So really, I've only lost two lives. I'll count that at the end. Yeah, if, they, if, if you're unlucky and they do that sort of skull bash attack, then... Oh no. Oh no, he's doing it again. He takes loads of health off. No, I mean loads of health off. Go away. Oh no. Oh. I tried to move away and I couldn't move. I couldn't move. Because I jumped. I didn't do the attack properly. I jumped instead of doing the attack. I was supposed to do that. There we go. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh, get out of it. Good, right. Yeah, it's, it's so easy to make a mistake with that attack. Don't need the health now, but I'll get it anyway. Good. Okay. The fiend's path was a great, great eagle. We are taken across the skies to the castle. Now the final battle begins. It was a great, great eagle, as opposed to a great eagle. 
Yeah, um, I'm not as good as this game. Um, I'm not as good as um, I'm not as good at this game as I am on the Mastodon version. You know, Mastodon is where it's at, in my opinion. Oh, good. Uh, are you coming on down? Come on down. Alright, they're going to stay there and be, annoy um, be annoying. Oh, good one's in. Come on. There we go. No. Oh, you little git. He, he tricked me. He tricked me. I can't believe I did that. I fell for that. He fell down and he wasn't on the first plane. He was on this plane, so I went past him. He wasn't on this one where I am now. He was on this one. I actually fell for that. And that was annoying, and that is annoying. Okay, what? Oh no, I, I need this Bizarrean. Get off, thank you. Go away. Good. Alright, let's use this magic up. Might as well. Ha 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 ha, you can't get me. Alright. You missed. And you're dead, good. I think those knights are coming now. No, even more enemies. And it yeah, knocked me off. No, I think this is the last chance I have with this bizarre in now. If, I'm, if I get knocked off again, I'm um, proverbially screwed. Good. No, he's not dead. No, that's good. Right now, the two knights are showing up. I need this bizarre in for these knights because they're sort of awkward. Yeah, uh, get these as soon as you can, because they have really long reach and they can knock you off the Bizarrean really quickly. Yep. I knew that would happen. Come on. Oh no, they're trying to... Yeah, I hate it when they try to get the other side of me. Really annoying. No way. Makes it harder if on the other side. I didn't use any magic on them, did I? So that's why they're taking longer. That one's dead. Good. And you're dead. Wonderful. Good. Didn't lose a life on them. Good. Always make sure you keep the bizarre in for them. Right, there's that weird perspective bit where they try to make it like the uh, the flagstones um, closer to the viewer are larger, but it hasn't sort of worked. The perspective's a bit off. Because it wouldn't be at that angle, would they? The angle would be sort of more you know, to the side of it. Give me that. Give me that magic. I need that. I need the magic for a death adder. There we go. Right, we have two enemies and a sledgehammer man. Oh no, I've activated the sledgehammer man. I shouldn't have gone in his line of sight. No, it missed. Oh good, got him at the same time. Good, he's dead. And he's dead. Good. Now it's your turn. It's your lucky day, you're going to die. Come on. And he's off, there we go. Have a powerful sword attack. Yeah, these ones need more hits because they're pink. Now, I don't know why um, making them making them pink means they're harder, but that's just how it is. They like pink and that makes them tougher, and that's, and that's, that's their right. They're right to be tougher while wearing pink. Right, these skeletons do die. The ones on the proper last boss don't, I think. Or maybe they do, I've just never managed it, I can't remember. So yeah, it's getting a bit awkward. Oh no! Oh, I've lost another continue. Oh no! Good, die. Good. No, go away. He's dead, good. Oh no! Wasn't concentrating. Go away, you annoyance. Right. Right, now it's time to get this. Yeah, just keep letting. Uh, just walk right into your attacks like that. He's. He's easy, really. Just. Make sure you time it properly. I'm really um, making a pig's ear of this, I apologise. 
I'm not as good as the. Uh, I'm not as good at. I'm doing it again. I'm not as good at the Mars system. I'm not as good at the Mega Drive version as I am at the Mars system version. There we go. Finally got it. Good. Just need to time it. There we go. Beautiful. Oh no. Oh, mistimed it. Now. Oh, I missed time again. Die, goddamn you. Thank you, right. Right, last level to do and then we're done. And they sort of float down on chains. As if they were watching the entire time. I feel sorry for the one on the on the left. He was hanging by his legs. Take my utmost gratitude for our rescue. I thank you and your courage, for it had rid of death adder and hideous plot. Yes, definitely translation errors there. But I have a feeling that he might have been taking orders. Come to think of it, not a few times did he disappear into that door. Who's speaking there? The speech bubble is pointing to Axe Battler. Will you not go into battle for me once again? Then how are you king? If I'm doing all the work, why are you the king? Fight the power. Yes, my lord. I'm your lord. I'll kill you and then I'll pretend death had I did it. Okay, final level. Right, this one is hard. Not well, least because of the platforming. Try to knock the enemies in the pits if you can. It makes your job a hell of a lot easier, trust me. So in you go. Oh no, he's on the other side. Oh good, that worked out. You can now prepare yourself for a very annoying jump. Just let the screen catch up with you. There we go. And then go for it. This should just make it. Yeah, there we go. Good. Hate doing that. I always think I'm not going to make it. And uh, shoulder barge that one in there as well. Let those go in. Another one here. That one went in on his own. Good for him. And he's gone as well. Good. Another Amazon here, I think. Grey one. Yep. Right in. Good. Right. And he's in. Good. Two more enemies here. Let this one drop in naturally, as I like to say. No, he's not going to do it. Good. Right. Good. Right, then there's some more magic dwarfs. Uh, they give you enough magic dwarfs here to get maximum magic for whatever magic you have. So, at least eight. I'll get that one later. Two more. Get that one in there. I'm already at maximum. It doesn't matter. But you might, uh, you might want to do that if you have Tyrus Flare because she has more magic capacity. Oh no! Yeah, try to knock these enemies in here. Right, then, yeah, uh, two of the green things come alive. The one, the obvious ones, the ones that look like enemies from before. Nope, lost to continue from that. Right, one continue left for the boss now. This is going to be tricky, I won't lie to you. Good, he's in. How about you? Are you in? He's in, good. Right, two knights. Try to get the knights in the pit, of course. But yeah, the two enemies that come alive are the obvious ones. Those two don't come alive because we haven't because we haven't seen enemies like them before. Good, he's in. How about you? Are you in? Are you in? I'm gonna do you in, mate. There we go. No, he's being annoying. Oh, I hate it. I knew he'd do that. Get out of it. Unbelievable. 
Okay, use the magic immediately. Uh, there's Death Adder looking bored. Not really a golden axe, more like um, a greeny grey axe. But what do I know? I'm not colour blind. Right. Um, ignore the skeletons if you can and just concentrate on Death Adder because the skeletons never die, I think. Yeah, um, try to avoid his hits like that. If, if, if one of those hits you, he'll do some proper magic on you. And that really hurts. Good. That's three, three hits on him. Right, two lives left. Have another. Yes, good. Two hits. I hate this last boss. It's just you can't relax with him because these annoying skeletons. They just never ever leave you alone. At least the music's good. You just need to get him enough times for uh, eventually his axe will fly in the air and then uh, fly in the air and then land on him. And that means he's dead. Yeah, that's the weakest magic he does. That's not too bad, actually. Good. Ah, oh, missed. Good. Leave me alone. Good. That was a good hit, but uh, I was punished for it mercilessly. No, nope. let me do another one. Good. Go away. Oh no, he's going to do magic. He says on my last bit of health. Okay, last life. This is embarrassing how how bad I am at this game. But I never said this would be a playthrough without me losing lives. I never I never claimed to be an expert at this. Oh, does he ever die? Just one hit after another, and he never ever dies. That's like perpetual agony. No, I'm still not dead. At last, thank you. Yeah, that's what happens. The axe goes inside him. That's it. Oh, blimey, how embarrassing. On my last life of my last continue. I apologise for that. Um, it really is much harder than the Masters version, Especially that last level. Uh, thank you, Gallant One. Now the people will be able to live. To build, to prosper in peace, until Golden Axe Warrior, which I've already done, may be titled the Grand Master, Guardians of the Kingdom. Now prepare for a feast, Grand Feast, to praise your act of bravery and deeds of courage. Finally, you have defeated all of the evil clan, and the land shall revive in peace, and the people will talk of your deeds as a legend in the years to come. Really dodgy translation here. Okay, and here's the cast. Oh dear. That was harder than what I expected it to be. Blimey. I haven't done that in ages. Yeah, it's certainly harder than the uh, Master Conversion. That last level, that last boss, I mean, the the first Death Adder incarnation is easy. It's just that second one with that with those annoying skeletons and that, that magic. Every time Death Adder hits you, you can pretty much write off nearly a life unless you're lucky. I did get lucky there because he did the electric magic, but... Blimey. Yeah, for some reason we get all the different colours of levels and how tall they are and how much they weigh. 
I don't really know what relevance this has. Oh, right, so next video will be Tyrus Flair completing it with her. Probably be just as difficult. Storchina Inea Strobea. Well, I remember reading somewhere that's like uh, the names of the developers or something like that, I can't remember. Your names of some semi famous people, like scientists or something. Skeleton, height 5 foot 2, weight 89 pounds. Attack level. Yeah, how on earth is it only 89 pounds? Could he shoulder barge a 250 pound man into a pit? Bad brothers. Lieutenant Bitter. Oh, he's 6'11. That's the same height as. Uh, um, uh, what's he called? Andre the Giant. I think he was 6'11, although he was billed as 7'2, wasn't he? Sergeant Malt and Sergeant Hop. Oh, that's like beer, isn't it? Hate beer. Colonel Bitter. Oh, that's like beer as well. Pale ale is bitter. Yeah, I hate beer. It tastes disgusting. And also, I read it has estrogenic effects because of the hops. Like, like estrogen, so I don't drink it. And a General Heartland. And another General Bitter. Heartland. That's a good band. One of my favourites. Chicken Leg. Length 8 for 10. Weight 756 pounds. Speciality. Wagging Tail. And he has two legs. Technically, it's not a mammal, and he has two legs. Well, I know, it's not really true, but... The Blue Dragon, 10 for 10, oh, nearly over half a ton in weight. A ton is 2,240 pounds, or the short American ton is 2,000 pounds. Uh, 20 hundred weight, which is 120 pounds. No, 112 pounds, sorry. Blue Thief, 2 foot 11, belongings pot. Green thief, belongings meat. Not that he is belongings if he's a thief. Villager A, villager, villager B. That's the one with the one with the bosoms. Um, what was I talking about? Um, Death Adder Junior, eight foot two, six hundred sixty-seven pounds. Attack level A, move level B. Yeah, so 100 weight is uh, 5 stone, I think. Yeah, it's, no, wait a minute. 100 weight is 112 pounds. Stone is 14, so it's... Wait a minute, I can wait this out. No, 100 weight is 8 stone. Yeah, because 5 14s, 14 pounds and a stone. So... Uh, so 5 14s is 70. 3 14s is 42, 70 plus 42 is 112, so yeah. So 100 weight is exactly 8 stone, and 20 hundred weight, so 20 times 112 is 2240, which is a ton, yeah. So a ton is 20 hundred weight, although there's the long and short hundred weight, the short one is the is the wimpy one, that's 100 pounds to simplify things, like the, like the wimpy American ton is only 2000 pounds, because they they obviously can't remember that it's 2,240. Anyway, they're playing football now. Uh, is it 4,000 grains in a pound? I can't remember. 4,000, 5,000, or something like that. It's all on Wikipedia anyway. If you're interested, look it up. I used to know them all, but I've forgotten over time. I couldn't really do metric conversion, although I do know all the metric prefixes, but I'm not really good because they're not perfect. I only know, I only remember the ones that are perfect. Like, how many pounds in a stone and stuff? Can't remember how many how many 
kilograms and a pound or whatever. I think it's like, what is it? I think it's four pounds, four point something, four point oh five four or something pounds in a stone, yeah, pounds in a kilogram. Although it doesn't really make sense because a kilogram isn't really a measurement of weight, it's a measurement of mass. I mean, really, weight is newtons. Each kilogram of mass has exactly nine point eight one something newtons of weight um, on Earth, anyway. So the two aren't really comparable. Pounds and kilos, I mean. Pounds is force or weight, and a kilogram is mass. There isn't an imperial version for mass, is it? Yes, newtons is the weight. That's force. Does this ever end? Assistant Director Opa Opa. Looks like we have a throwback to uh, the Mars system. Fantasy Zone. I've yet to do Fantasy Zone. It's bloody hard, that's why. <laughs> Uh, and Fantasy Zone 2. Really hard. Uh, Fantasy Zone 3 is uh, a bit like Pac-Man. It's Fantasy Zone 3 The Maze. It's not a bad game, but it's just not really Fantasy Zone anymore. And that's the end. Okay, so that was... Uh, Golden Axe, total score 368.0, used player 12, strength 60.6. Oh, and we get an A++ for that, even though I was on my last continue. <laughs> on my last life. I don't get that. Well, I did lose a life, actually, from the glitch, didn't I? Because it glitched away a life for me in the second level or third level, whatever it was. So. Anyway, yeah, so the next video will be completing this with Tyrus Flare. So. I'll see if I can memorise some weights for you. Anyway, so thanks for watching. The next video will be this with Tyrus Flair. Thanks again and goodbye.